Hey, what's up? This is Rodney, and I'm back just to give my opinion on this whole Kaya versus the gay situation. So, for those who don't know, Kaya is a rapper. She's a singer. I think she had a, uh, her hit, one of her, the biggest singles she had, I think, was like in the 80s or the early 90s, uh, My Neck, My Back. Um, the song, you know, is still even hot to this day. But anyways, make it, to make a long story short, um, Kaya made a video about, well, she didn't make a video. She has a little, uh, she has a show on YouTube. And they were talking about the Lemonade, um, when Beyonce released the Lemonade thing on HBO, the Lemonade special visual album, they were talking about the Lemonade album, and she basically didn't like it. Um, so, because she didn't like it, she basically made some statements about, um, which I didn't see anything wrong with what she said, because I even thought the same thing, truth be told. She basically said that she didn't understand why all the girls in the videos had, and her in Beyonce's videos had, you know, afros and braids, and then she has this long blonde hair. I thought the same thing, too. And she also mentioned about Serena Williams twerking in the video. You know, somewhat of Serena's status, I was shocked, too. Because the first thing, when I saw it, I was like, why the fuck is Serena twerking in a Beyonce video? I didn't understand it either. I really didn't. So, she basically said the same thing that I said. Um, but of course she's on a larger platform um, and because she went against the masses because most people even if they didn't like it they're not going to say they don't like it so when she said she didn't like the Beyonce video people came at her left and right and you know they called her all types of names bitches and hoes and even like the game and these, these you know these rappers you know calling her bitches and hoes and nappy headed and all types of shit and so she retaliated and she was calling some of the people that were coming for her punks from what I read, you know, punks and faggots and sissies. And I think she even talked about some of the people in the trans community calling them like men with dicks and men with wigs or something like that. Now, let me just say something. At the end of the day, you cannot say what you want to say to somebody and then get mad because they respond in a way that you don't think is suitable. You can't call me a bitch. And then get mad because I call you a faggot. Because at the end of the day, you try to offend me. Even if you don't think that word is as serious or as offensive as the word faggot, it's still offensive to somebody. Some women out there take being called a bitch very offensive. Especially when it's coming from a nigga. You see what I'm saying? So, when y'all sit here and y'all call Kaya all these types of bitches and hoes and nappy headed bitches, you can't get mad because she called you a sissy or a punk or a faggot. Because at the end of the day, you cannot say what you want to say to people and then get mad when they say something or do something to you that you think was below the belt. If you punch me and I shoot you, if you curse me out and I talk about your dad grandmother, at the end of the day, it may be a little bit dramatic. I will say that much. It may be a stretch because, damn, all I did was curse you out and you shot me in the stomach. But at the end of the day, I've been saying this shit for years. If you don't want nobody to do shit to you, you don't need to do shit to nobody. You can't punch somebody and they get mad because they run you over what they call. Again, what this video comes down to is I'm Team Kaya on this one. Kai had an opinion like everybody else. Just because her opinion was different from the masses, because I agree with Kai when she talked about the Lemonade video. Just because our opinion is different from the masses doesn't mean that it's wrong. And the sad thing about that really pisses me off about this whole situation is the gays that came for Kaya, they tried to throw, it, throw, throw this thing in the air where, oh, she's calling people sissies and punks and faggots and, you know, calling the trans, disrespecting the trans community, you know. And I think Kaya was supposed to go to uh, DragCon. It's, RuPaul has this uh, thing in, I think, California called DragCon every year now. And it's basically all the drag queens come and I guess the people that support the drag community, the gay community. And I think Kaya was, was supposed to go, but I heard that they uninvited her because they heard what she said. I don't think that was right because at the end of the day, y'all have to realize these people came for Kaya because she just said she didn't like Beyonce. So now all of a sudden the gays want to sit here and say, oh, she calls us sissies and punks. Truth of the matter is, bitch, 
How you been call, been calling been saying sisters and punks since that video I saw five or six years ago? So that's nothing new. The reason why y'all motherfuckers are mad and the reason why y'all want to march on Washington now is because the bitch said she didn't like Beyonce. That's what it comes down to. I can't stand punks like that. If you gonna stand up for something, stand up for it. But don't wait until somebody say, "Oh, they don't like Beyonce," for you to sit here and say, "Oh, she calls sisters and punks." Girl, she been saying sisters and punks. And you ain't said a goddamn thing. But now since she said she ain't like the Beyonce visual album, now your now your panties in a bunch. I don't like people like that. If you're gonna stand up for something, or if you're gonna march for something, stand up for it. And the truth be told, bitch, I'm going hard, hard for Beyonce when Beyonce don't go hard for us. And that's the God and the truth. Y'all think just because Beyonce threw a couple of punks in her videos and she got a gay, um, a gay uh uh Stylist, that that means she go up, she go up in air for us. Girl, when was the last time Beyonce went to a Pride event? When was the last time Beyonce even said anything about the LGBT community on a large platform? Beyonce is worth five hundred million dollars. You mean to tell me five hundred million dollars? She couldn't stay living in New York for as long as she lives in New York, living in living in L.A. Now, you mean to tell me out of all the pride parades, she couldn't have just walked through a parade and threw a couple of bees at a bitch and went home? You have celebrities out here who don't have nearly as much money as Beyonce does, and they really do need to work to keep their coin who will go out of their way to go support the LGBT community. But you mean to tell me a bitch who worth $500 million can't take out one day out of her out of the goddamn year to go to some pride event just to say, hey, wave, bitch, do a little shuffle, and then take her black ass home? Kanye, from what I understand, supports the LGBT community. Regardless of what she said, from what I understand, she goes to, she goes to private events. I heard she's even performed at a couple. So at the end of the day, Kaya don't, don't, don't even have as much money as Beyonce in regards to she's getting paid for these events or not. They still go out of their way to, so, to show support for us. So if these people who don't have nearly as much coin as Beyonce has can go out their way to show support for us, then Beyonce and all these other big time celebrities, they should be able to do the same thing. But when y'all see a couple of punks in videos or some shit like that, then y'all automatically think, oh, power to the gay people. Girl, please, Beyonce ain't thinking about you or me. And that's what it comes down to. And I will say this much. Again, I agree with Kaya. In conclusion, I always have to give in conclusion. In conclusion, stop talking to people crazy and then you get mad because they say something that you feel as though is below the belt. Because ain't no love in war.